In today's youth sports culture, many parents believe they are raising the next sports superstar. Unfortunately, this potentially inaccurate belief, belief causes them to push their kids too hard, which then causes their kids to quit their sport. Recent research done by the National Alliance for Youth Sports shows around 70% of kids stop playing sports in the United States before the age of 13. Thankfully, there are organizations dedicated to changing this culture. John O'Sullivan is the founder of the Changing the Game Project. His organization is dedicated to putting the fun back in fundamentals. Although many parents understand the positive values of youth sports, coaches and parents should complete mandatory education programs before their child can participate because proper understanding of youth sports will prevent unnecessary financial burden on families, keep young athletes safe and healthy, and provide a more emotionally safe and positive environment for their kids. First, the MEP will provide information about the financial investment necessary. Second, the program will educate parents about the risk of injury and how to prevent them. And lastly, parents will be taught the best ways to maintain that emotionally safe and healthy environment. If parents take the mandatory education program, they should make better financial decisions in sports, be more prepared to protect their child from injury, and have better strategies for emotionally supporting their kid. Ultimately, the problem the MEP is trying to solve is the mistreatment of young athletes. It is important to understand why quitting sports is a serious consequence of their parents' behavior. John O'Sullivan says, this is not a sports issue. This is a wellness issue. We know all the benefits of activity, and yet at the same age, when they should be developing these healthy lifestyles, they're quitting sports, which causes them to not carry those lifestyles for the rest of their life. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, some benefits of physical activity include reducing the risk of diabetes, type 2 diabetes, cancer, obesity, and heart disease. The number one reason these kids walk away is because sports is no longer fun. But every year, more than 3.5 million children under the age 14 need treatment for sports injury. Nearly half of these are because of overuse. They're playing their sport too much year-round. While there has been a strong amount of effort put towards changing this youth sports culture, there are two solutions that stand out. One is that Changing the Game project with John Sullivan. He offers speeches, information online. The second is the Parent Association for Youth Sports. They have offered a similar program to what we're offering, a 30-minute online training, but theirs is pretty much specifically about that healthy sports environment, which is part three of our program. Also, they only serve a very small number of communities. It doesn't translate throughout the U.S. Our program is designed to be a one-stop shop for the most valuable information parents need to know. The program will be a one-hour training designed to prepare every parent for their child's safety, enjoyment, and success. It consists of five modules broken into three parts. Part one, the finances. Part two, the health and safety. And part three is the enjoyment. Let's go into part one. All right, it's about the financial investment and the potential payoff. Okay, parents spend between $1,100 and $7,000 a year on sports in America. Okay, most of the time it's because of a belief that they will get money back. The odds of a player going from high school to Division I is less than 1%. 500,000 players turns into 4,000 Division I athletes. The odds of going from college to the pros is even less, 4,000 down to 4, 44 drafted NBA players. So you have 500,000 high school basketball players and 44 NBA players. That is less than 1,000th of a percent chance. Parents understanding this will cause them to be wiser about their financial decisions. Part two is about the health and safety. We'll talk about prevention of injury, concussion issues, overuse issues, and the benefits of playing multiple sports. Studies show that playing multiple sports leads to better muscle, motor, and skill development. It promotes general athleticism, balance, speed, and agility. Many coaches will tell their parents they need to focus on one sport, but the information says otherwise. We'll provide that for them. Lastly, John O'Sullivan, in this final part, talks about how to be emotionally supportive. And his biggest statement is five words. I love watching you play. While this seems simple, it has been a movement in the youth sports community that has brought fun back to the kids. In conclusion, having 70% of kids quit youth sports is an unacceptable problem within this community. Thankfully, John O'Sullivan, the Parent Athletic Youth Association, and the Mandatory Education Program are dedicated to changing this culture. 
Well-informed parents lead to well-treated children, and the mandatory education program will help make fun the fundamentals of youth sports again. Thank you.